Howdy friends and welcome to The Average J. So it is November. So in September, we did a collab for soups in September and we called it Soup Timber. In October, we did crock pot dishes and we called them Croptober. So uh, for this month, we are doing Nutvember. And this is going to be recipes that in some way, shape or form have nuts in it. It might just be a sprinkling of nuts on top, but it has to have nuts or a nut substitute, like a sunflower seed or something healthy. But um, this collab, um, is something that we're going to keep going every month. We're going to have something. Um, I'm fortunate enough this month to host the Nutvember and all of the channels that are doing Nutvember are going to be listed below. Please go visit their channels um, and look at all the great nut offerings. I don't know about you, but I mean, I love nuts and Michelle, obviously, I think I've mentioned in multiple videos, she loves nuts. I think she eats them just about every day. I think she likes Ones that aren't real good for you, like honey roasted and everything, but you know, it still counts, you know? <laughs> so I am going to make baklava. So baklava is a kind of more of a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern kind of dessert, um, sweetened very much with honey, although it does have some sugar in it and uses three different kinds of nuts. So let me show you the ingredients that we're going to use. First, I'm gonna start with what we have for the filling in the back row. So I have three different types of nuts. I have six ounces of each. I have walnuts, I have pistachios, and I have hazelnuts. And I know that they don't look very chopped right now, but that's gonna be a part of the process. I have one quarter cup of white granulated sugar. I have a pinch of ground cloves, and I have one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. Now, one thing I will say about the ground cloves. Me thinking that it would be real easy, I told Michelle, uh, don't go get me any ground cloves because I have a container this big of whole cloves. I said, I'll grind it myself. Let me tell you something, the pain it is to mill it up just to get a pinch, no. Uh, next time, we're gonna just go buy ground cloves. So, um, for the topping after it's put together, we have three quarter cup of white granulated sugar. We have one cup of honey. I have one cup of cold water. I have the juice that I squeezed from one fresh lemon and strained it out. I have five whole cloves and I have some uh, orange extract. Okay, so that's going to be the coating that goes on top. The last thing is going to be phyllo dough. Okay, um, a lot of grocery stores do carry phyllo dough, but um, there are recipes out there that can use puff pastry. So if you can't find phyllo dough, it is a little different texture, a little different taste than uh, puff pastry, but in a pinch, you could use puff pastry. So um, I'll insert a picture right now of the box that it came in. So it comes two packs to a box, but uh, I bought multiple packs because I want three uh, rolls. It does come frozen. You need to thaw it out completely before you start putting it together. And I have um, two full sticks, we'll, we'll call it, because uh, they only came in quarters at the store, of unsalted butter. But to use this, it's going to be melted because the only thing you're using it for is putting it between the layers of the phyllo dough. And you're going to use a 9 by 13 uh, pan. Artie, you want to cook too? <laughs> yes, cook? he does. You a chef? <laughs> so, uh, Artie's feeling a little anxious. I think he knows we're getting ready to go on vacation, so he's not going to see us for a while. <laughs> but a 9, 9 by 13 pan is what we're going to cook it in. We are going to first start by cutting up the nuts. So some of the nuts that I have are already chopped, but we're gonna kind of do it a little bit more. The hazelnuts didn't come chopped, so I'm gonna put them in first, and I'm gonna do those for a couple minutes, or a couple seconds, just to get them about the same size as the pistachios and the walnuts to start with. So uh, 
This might be a little loud. All right, now that the hazelnuts are done, I'm gonna dump in the pistachios and the almonds. I said, if we're gonna do nut timber, I'm using three different nuts and making it worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're gonna pulse that up a little bit more. It doesn't take a whole lot because you don't want them completely powdery. So I'm gonna take that. Well, first I'm gonna take the blade out so I don't cut myself dumping it. <laughs> And I'm going to put them into a large mixing bowl. And if you can see, there's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of chunks. There's some powder, but there's a lot of chunks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our quarter cup of sugar, our one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon, and our pinch of ground cloves, which like I said, Took me way longer than I thought it would for just a pinch, but you know, in a pinch it would work. Ah, get it? You see what I did there, right? <laughs> I see what you did there. And then all you're gonna do is kind of mix it up to get that sugar and cinnamon and cloves into all this nut mixture. Now, in this recipe, you can cut the cinnamon actually back to one tablespoon if you want to. You can add it if you really like cinnamon, up to two. So, but we're kind of meeting in a happy halfway middle and we're going with uh, one and a half tablespoons. Um, one thing that's tough is when you're mixing all dry ingredients, when it's wet, all that cinnamon and sugar sticks to everything. Right now it's just kind of happenstance as I turn it over that the cinnamon and sugar falls back onto the nut mixture. So. That's gonna take care of that, and this is what it looks like. So this is your filling. So a couple things I do wanna say. Number one is, uh, sorry if I'm a little punchy doing this video. I have been working for the military this weekend. This is my procrastination. Uh, and we're you know on 12 hour shifts at the base, so you know it's kinda of late at night, it's getting there late at night, and uh, but I gotta get this done and up. I should have done this during the week. So number two, uh, I do wanna point out that um, I'm wearing my Recipes with Roy um, apron and next month's collab is uh, a December cookie swap and that is going to be hosted by Recipes with Roy. So thank you Roy for doing that. Uh, the third thing is you never realize how hard it is to uh, cook or bake or whatever when you have a dog because they <laughs> smell all the food and they always wanna come around. So um, thank goodness it's a little later at night, so Artie has calmed down. Sorry about his barking earlier. And the last thing is um, that Cuisinart uh, food processor that I used. Um, I did do a video on an unboxing and description of it, so I will link that video down below. So, and uh, you probably knew it was going to be a cooking video the second it came on, so I had my goofy chef's hat on. So, <laughs> but let's continue putting this together. We have our nut mixture and I rolled out the phyllo uh, into the sheets. We're gonna put that in the pan in a minute, but what we need to do is make the sauce that goes on top. And the reason we're making this before we even cook everything, there's nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle doing the camera work, thanks, honey. Um, is because this has to get like to lukewarm before you can put it on. So after I get done this, what I'm gonna do is set it to the side, let it get lukewarm, then I'm gonna put the baklava together with the nut mixture and the phyllo and put it in the oven. I preheated the oven, it's preheating now, to 350 degrees, okay? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the water, one cup of cold water, and three quarter cups of sugar. And we're gonna turn this to a medium high heat. And I have my whisk. All we're gonna do is stir it around until the sugar dissolves. So as you saw, the oven is 350 degrees. 
and our sugar is melted. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add the one teaspoon of um, uh, orange extract. Michelle, what are these called again? The uh, Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn. <laughs> I'm using my Ray Dunn teaspoon tonight. <laughs> I had never heard of them until I went to Texas last year and found out that it actually means something. So, And I'm going to add my five whole cloves. And I am going to add my one cup of honey. And you're probably looking at the cup and going, Jay, that looks like more than a cup. Have you ever tried to get an entire thing of honey out of a container? You're <laughs> never going to get it out. So I went just slightly over because I know I'm never going to get everything out of this one cup. Ooh. And you're going to leave it on high heat for uh, until it boils. I know it looks kind of weird, doesn't it? But yeah, so you have your water, your sugar, your honey, your cloves, and your orange extract. And we're going to cook this down or cook it until it boils. And then we're going to reduce the heat and we're going to uh, put it to low. And then we are going to simmer it down for 25 minutes. We're going to go ahead and put the baklava together and I have my phyllo dough underneath of seasonal towels. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Michelle. Thank you, Dollar Tree. <laughs> Are they Dollar Tree? I think they're Kmart. Oh, Kmart. Actually, well, I know. Back away. I've had them a while. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, you made me laugh. <laughs> so, um, and I split my phyllo dough into three separate segments because we're going to have three different layers but every layer has melted butter between. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but it is unsalted butter, okay? So I am going to take the unsalted butter and I'm just gonna put a thin layer on the bottom of my nine by three, uh, nine by 13 pan. All right, and then I'm just gonna take piece one of phyllo dough and I'm just gonna say, I am not real good at working with phyllo dough, puff pastry, or anything that's like gentle, because I'm not really gentle. You know? but <laughs> we're gonna give it a try. And these sheets should be about the right size for um, just going in a nine by 13 pan. If you have to cut it a little bit, then so be it, depending on the size of the sheet you get. But look, this one looks pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there, and then I'm gonna put another layer of butter. Those of you that are not big butter fans, well, then you might not like this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna put some butter in there. I don't wanna do it too hard because I don't wanna break my uh, phyllo dough, okay? Because it is incredibly delicate. Um, one thing I will say is make sure that your phyllo dough is at room temperature before you put it in your pan because you could run into some real problems with it breaking if it's still frozen, okay? So you're going to want to be gentle. And I am going to put um, all of my first third of the phyllo dough in, and I am going to put a little butter between every layer. We have our first layer of phyllo dough. So originally when you saw, I had three rolls of phyllo dough, and I guess I don't use phyllo dough that much, and I forgot how many sheets, because it's so thin, are in phyllo dough. You actually only need one package of phyllo dough with two rolls, okay? And what you're gonna do is put a third of your phyllo dough underneath, then you're gonna put a layer of the nuts, then you put another layer of phyllo dough, then another layer of nuts, then another layer of phyllo dough. So, uh, phyllo dough. so um, you do not need to get any more than one package or two rolls of phyllo dough, but it is all in there with, um, butter between every layer of the phyllo dough. And I am going to go ahead and put in one half of my nut mixture with the cinnamon and all that yummy goodness. All right, and we're gonna spread that around. And now we're gonna go back to doing phyllo dough. So <laughs> after I get the second layer on and I'm putting another thing of nuts, we'll be back. Don't taste that.
Now that we have our second layer of uh, phyllo dough, we're gonna go ahead and put the remainder of our um, nut mixture in. I'm just gonna spread it around, make sure it's even. Hopefully it's even. <laughs> And now we're going to go back to more phyllo dough. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the top layer of phyllo dough on. Michelle has conveniently stolen some of my nut mixture for her <laughs> own consumption. <laughs> she, like I said earlier, she loves eating all kinds of nuts. So she felt compelled to take it from me. <laughs> of the um, towel to kind of keep it from like really drying out you because even though you want it thawed you don't want it super dry because then it starts to crack and peel which i'm finding is kind of happening to me even though i put it under the paper towel or not paper towel the regular towel but yeah. we'll get through this once the third layer is on of the uh phyllo dough we only wound up using a package and a half. Um, you don't know how it's going to be packaged. So then what I did was I cut off the edges. Okay. I cut the edges so that it fits in the pan because the sheets were a little longer than 13 inches and it's kind of rounded. So, um, and then we put a real good coating of the unsalted butter on the top. And now we're going to go ahead and put it on our 350 degree oven. Now that the sauce is uh, lukewarm we're gonna take our lemon juice and we're gonna put that in and we're gonna grab our whisk and we're just gonna mix that in the last step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sauce that is all hot and stirred up and while the baklava is hot we're gonna pour this right over the top the entire thing Ooh, that thing is sizzling. And once the sauce is on, it's gonna soak down in and we're gonna leave this sit for at least one hour to cool. Okay, we have been one hour since this came out of the oven. Obviously I can touch the pan so it's not too hot. The last thing is to cut it and serve it. So for baklava, what you wanna do is you wanna cut it into segments, okay? Get a nice good cut on there with a nice sharp knife, okay? And then the last thing you wanna do, this thing is going to be into triangles. You want your baklava into triangles. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut it, uh, the first part of it. I'm not gonna waste the whole video showing, uh, cutting the entire baklava, but you wanna make sure you cut through all that phyllo dough, okay? You could serve it in squares if you want, but traditionally it's served in triangles. So we are gonna cut this into a triangle. And once I get it into a good triangle, look at this. We're gonna pull that piece out of there. Well, I kind of messed that up a little bit, but. <laughs> this is your baklava. All right, we gotta taste it. Well, I'm gonna taste it, but <laughs> I just wanna make sure it was cut. The rest of it, I'm gonna leave it until tomorrow. Honestly, baklava is really better after it kind of cures for 24 hours and all that gets into there. But for the purposes of the video, I really just wanted to get it cut and to get a taste of it. So we're gonna pick this up. And because of that honey, boy, that's sticky. And it is delicious. <laughs> but I will say this, you have to like nuts if you're gonna <laughs> put your thumb out. <laughs> If you have to, uh, if you don't like nuts, you're not going to like this because it has, like I said, three nuts in it. I'm sorry for talking about a mouthful, but boy, I do like baklava. And I ain't going to cut the rest up tomorrow, but 
Wow, that turned out good. And that is gonna do it for our November, Nutvember collaboration. So we made our bot lava and um, got to try it and it was really very different than what we're used to having. Around here we have cake, donuts, and everything. So this is kind of a little bit of a different thing. Every time we go to Epcot, um, I like to go to, to, to the um, Morocco Pavilion and get baklava. I'm a big fan. Michelle, not so much, but um, I really enjoy it. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And please make sure you go to the other channels that are doing the collab and go to them like and subscribe their videos as well it really does help but uh thank you again oh Artie. hey Artie doesn't get the block lava you know <laughs> he gets like milk bone and uh doggy treats but uh we will see you in the next time we do a video bye